Hi, this is Munson with Munson Music. I'm going to talk about how you get strung through a song called One by U2. And we're going to start off with kind of that intro progression on an A minor chord. And we play A minor. First finger goes to the B on the first fret, second finger on the D string, second fret, and third finger on the G string, second fret. And if you strum all those together, that sounds an A minor chord and it sounds really, really sad. Now, on A minors in general, though, you may want to kind of lift off the, the third finger and make that an A minor 7 chord. Or you could even take the pinky and kind of add that in on the high E on the third fret to make an A minor sentence. So you want to play around with that through the song. And then from the A minor, we'll be going to a D major chord. Let me play D major. First finger goes the G on the second fret, second finger on the high E second fret, and the third finger on the B string on the third fret. And if you strum the D string to the high E string, that sounds a D major chord and it sounds really, really happy. Now, while you're on Ds in general, it can be kind of cool to lift off the second finger and make it a D suspended second. Or you could even kind of take that D major shape and kind of add in the pinky and make it a D sus. It can be kind of cool to kind of say some things around the D chord. And then from the D, we'll be going to an F major chord when we play F major. First finger goes across the entire first fret. I'm talking about an easier way to play this too. And then two goes on the G string second fret. Third finger goes to the A string on the third fret. And the pinky on the D string on the third fret. And if you strum all those together, that sounds an F major chord and it sounds really, really happy. Now, a good substitute for that if you're just starting out is something called F major 7. Let me play F major 7. First finger goes to the B string on the first fret, second finger on the G string, second fret, and third finger on the D string on the third fret. And if you strum the D string to the high E string, that sounds an F major 7 chord and it sounds really, really groovy, happy. So you might want to think about that for the F2. And then from the F, we're going to be going to a G major chord. First finger goes to the A on the second fret, second finger on the low E string on the third fret, and third finger on the high E string on the third fret. And if you strum all those together, that sounds a G major chord and it sounds really, really happy. Now you may also want to take the third finger and go to the B string third fret, pinky on the high E string third fret. Kind of work that for your G major. So you might want to kind of play around with it. Now a lot of times with a song like this though, to make it more interesting, I like using something called a strum pattern. And one of my favorite strum patterns for a 4-4 like this is down, down, up, up, down, up. So we took the A minor and just tried that a lot. You got down, down, up, And if we try that through our intro progression, we'd have A minor, down, up, up, down, up, D, down, up, up, down, up, F, down, up, up, down, up, G, down, up, up, down, up, A minor, down, down, up, up, down, D, down, down, up, F, down, up, up, down, up, G, down, up, up, down, up. It's kind of our intro and our, our first verse. Now there's some cool little lead parts at the very beginning if you want to follow some of those notes and it's a couple different guitar parts actually but I'm kind of, I think these are kind of cool licks to start off with is you could do open G and kind of do a hammer on the second fret and then first fret on the B and then open E, three on the B string, first on the B, third fret on the B, open E and then you could third fret on the B string and you could do a really quick slide to fifth and then pull off to three and then slide back to one. So that's a little weird, actually. Kind of a hammer on, pull off, slide lick, actually. Um, yeah, yeah, let's do it that way. So you'd have first finger on the B string, third fret, hammer on to fifth, pull off back to three, and then slide to one. So that, that's kind of a cool thing. So you got over two, one, oh, three, one, three, oh. And then from there, we go to third on the B, first fret on the B, third fret on the B, first fret on the B, and then third fret on the B. that oh, two, one, oh, three, one, three, oh. and at the end you may want to do a hammer on the second fret slide to four slide to five and then slide to seven so maybe kind of a cool way to kind of enter the tune is that Another strum pattern I would think about though is something called a 16th note strum pattern. And what I mean by that is if you're tapping your foot to the, to the B, right now we're dividing that into two parts with our down, down, up, up, down, up. One, two, one, two, and that's called an eighth note. What a 16th note is is where you divide it into four parts. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. And one of my favorite 16th note strum patterns is long down, 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 up, up, down, down, up, down. 
what I mean by that is if you take the A minor and do it down for four. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. That's what you do on the first beat. Then on the second beat, you do it down on one, down on three, up on four. So we're going one, two, three, four, down, down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up. Then on the third beat, you do it up on two, down on three. So we're going one, two, three, four, one, up, down, one, up, down, one, up, down. And then on the last beat, you be going down, up, down, up, right along with the one, two, three, four. So down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, So all together, you got down. First chord starts on a C major chord, and the way you play C major, first finger goes to the B on the first fret, second finger on the D string, second fret, third finger on the A string, third fret, and if you show them the A string to the high E string, that sounds a C major chord, and it sounds really, really happy. That can be kind of cool to add some notes to that too, and subtract some notes. You could lift off the first finger and make that a C major seven, or you could take the pinky and add it in on the B string, third fret, and make that a C major nine. So that can be kind of a cool thing to kind of play around with. For and then we'd be going to A minor, and then we go to an F, and then we go back to C. So we tried our chorus with our down, down, up, up, down, up. You have C, down, up, down, up, A minor, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, C, Think about adding to the song that was bass notes, and a lot of times on that first down, the down, down, up, up, down, up, or the down, 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 up, up, down, down, up, up, you could add in a bass note for the chord. So on the A minor, you have the A for the bass, and on the C, you have the A for the bass, and on the F major seven, you have the D for the bass, and on the F more, you have the low E for the bass, and on the G, you have low E for the bass, and on the D, you have the D for the bass. So we tried our first progression with a bass down, up, up, down, up. with an A bass, down, 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 down,
got that with our 16th pattern. We got C. If you want to be really, really sneaky, you can take the flat of your right hand and put it down on top of the saddle and kind of get a muted quality out of the strings. You may want to kind of play around with kind of an eight down idea. And this might be a cool way to kind of intro the tune too, but it can also kind of help you get into to kind of doing muting with the strum patterns we were talking about. So this can be kind of a cool thing to even try kind of a, a down, down, up, up, down, up, or even the, the 16th pattern trying to kind of do a muting idea. starts on C, and then we go to A minor, and then we go to C, and then A minor, and then we go to C, and then we do two G's, and then we do two F's. So we tried that with a bass down, up, up, down, up. You can have C with an A bass, down, up, up, down, up, A minor with an A bass, down, up, up, down, C with an A bass, down. You'll, you can kind of work a bass line like third to A string to second on the A to open A on that part if you're kind of digging on that kind of a bass down up up three two oh really cool little recurring lead part through that where you can play the open E three times and then three on the B string twice or three times and the first fret on the B and the third fret on the B and then at the very end it kind of gets tagged with three on the B first fret on the high E open E and then three on the B and the first fret on the B so you could, might want to kind of play around with that. E, D, 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 C, D.
out with trying to bring that out of the chords. Anyway, but that's the basics of how you can strum through one by you two. So good luck.